Awesome. Okay, I think I figured it out. It, Thank it you awesome. so much. So, uh, yeah, let's start, start again. When did you start playing the violin? Well, I started at the age of eight. Um, I started, you know, when I was in the fourth grade, the school I attended at the time offered uh, straight ahead of the strings program. And, uh, you know, my grandmother was the one who was like, hey, you should give it a shot. You know, it's different violin, you know. Uh, so I, I gave it a shot. Um, I hated it at first. Uh, I've grown over time. I've grown to, to actually embrace it and, and develop a passion for it. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I've done a lot of extracurricular activities outside of school, like or different orchestras, and I did private lessons, but I was also playing in school, so I was playing violin like nonstop. So every single day it was, you know, violin. And um, my skills has progressed over time. I went to the high school for performing and visual arts here in Houston. Uh, graduated there, went to uh, the University of Oklahoma, and I majored in music performance with the emphasis in jazz. And then uh, I graduated there from 2017, came back to Houston, became a solo artist. And uh, just from there, I just started hitting the ground running. So why did your grandmother suggest the violin? Um, cause it was different, you know, you don't see a lot of African American males playing the violin, um, just something just to, cause at the time I was also doing sports, you know, so I wanted to do something different and she just, you know, she just said, give it a shot, you know, and like I said, I didn't really like it at first. I hated practicing so much. That was like one of the, the, the reasons why I didn't want to play. Um, but like I said, as, as I've grown, I started to understand like, you know, okay, this is, I'm getting better at this instrument, so let's let's keep this going. Mm -hmm. and I say, uh, high school, beginning of high school, that's when I really started um, getting a little bit more clear picture of like, okay, this is what I probably want to do for college, and then and then it just kind of just built on from there. And, and mm -hmm. then I really out of it, so. Okay, I think some people are having a trouble hearing you. So if you can have the mic just closer to your mouth, that'd be cool. Okay. I feel you're you're soft speaker, unlike me. <laughs> Okay, well, how about that? Is that is much that? better? Yes, thank you so much. Okay, no problem. Yeah. And so what did your friends think of you when you're saying that you're playing the violin? Um, they, I didn't really get picked on a lot, you know, f for playing the violin. It was just kind of like, because, you know, I had, I had friends that did it as well. But as time went on, I saw a lot of friends drop out of, you know, <laughs> it's one of those things where, you know, you try once and you, you don't like it, but I was I was really the ones that stayed. I stuck with it because mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I, I hate quitting things. I like I believe in just, you know, if I start something, I got to finish it. You know, so uh, it was I was it wasn't really much of like you know people picking on me anything like that, and mm -hmm. I didn't really have much of a problem. Good, I'm glad. I'm glad you persevered. Thank you. Yes. Did you play in the orchestra? I did. I'm classically trained. Um, so I played in orchestra pretty much my whole, most of my career. Um, I played in orchestras in high school, outside of school as well. A couple of orchestras called, it was one called the Virtuosi of Houston. Uh, and then also the Houston Youth Symphony. Mm -hmm. um, and I also took pr lessons privately. Right. Because you won, you won an award. Is that right? And you got to play a solo? Oh yeah, I did it. I actually, uh, it was a young. It was called the Young Artist Competition, and it was held by the Houston Symphony. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was funny because I, I was. It, it was actually a competition where you can pretty much play any genre you want. And so I did this little, you know, jazz track, and they loved it, and it was different. So I won um, first place in that competition, and I got a chance to. Um, play on stage with the Houston Symphony, so that was that was probably one. Of the, that was the first big performance I've ever done. So, All right. Uh, How many people did you perform to then? Oh man, I, I'd say it was probably at least five thousand people out there. <gasps> wow, yeah. that's pretty incredible. I think you deserve one of these. <laughs> <laughs> but I know we don't have that much time with you, so can we? hear this fabulous violin yeah of course of course so the first song i'm going to play is uh bill weather's lovely day oh beautiful Oh, 
My gosh, that was just incredible. Thank you so much. The comments are coming in thick and fast. Sandy T says, wow. Han says, loving this sound. Lorna says, such a clean sound, such a beautiful sound, beautiful performance, brilliant, amazing. And so people are talking about your sound. I think I'm going to have like 1% of that for my sound check. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> getting that sound so good yeah, it yeah. is such a beautiful sounding instrument isn't it oh yeah I, yeah I, I really, really good. Yeah, yeah you play with passion that's what yeah. sandy t said as well and that's so true and you've been playing for how long uh so i'm at 21 years now i've been playing most pretty much most of my you've been life. playing 21 <laughs> years yeah, you look 21. 
plot hole? Well, thank you. <laughs> I guess it's not like that. Well, thank you. Yeah. So I've been I've been playing. Like I said, I'm classically trained, and um, uh, when I got in high school, it was really um, kind of like one of those things where I I actually became attached to my violin. Like it was kind of like now like a piece of me. Mm-hmm. And so um, I'm really I, I'm really an introvert. Like I really don't talk a lot, and you know I've always been like so nervous talking in front of people. And so the violin was always my like outlet to express right. my my family and stuff like that and it just kind of been my voice mm-hmm. and just being able to share it with everybody around the world is it is it's amazing like just seeing the responses from like the songs i put out um and i, I like i said i'm just really i'm really fresh in the music industry so i still have a lot to learn um but uh just to seeing like the response and the support and love that i get each and every day like it, it keeps me going yeah. So do you feel that the violin has made you more confident? Oh yeah, most most definitely. Most like I've done playing a live on stage, and I, I'm not sure if any of y'all seen me play live on stage or just seen like any of my videos. But I have. I'm literally everywhere, like on the floor, um, just just playing everywhere. So <laughs> it really it really boosted my confidence. Um, and then another factor is just seeing how it really makes people feel. Like just seeing everybody like smiling and dancing and laughing it just shows me okay this is what god called me to do so yeah so when did you decide to bring the violin into contemporary music uh it was i'd say it was probably towards the beginning of high school um maybe a little bit middle school i started playing in churches so um i started doing gospel you know playing just like little songs like amazing grace and stuff like that in my church and then it grew and I started traveling from, you know, different churches in Houston. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I, that was like the first time I've played music outside of classical. So it was kind of fresh. It was new to me. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I, I kept doing that. And then I'd say ninth grade, I joined the jazz Latin band outside of school. Something completely different from orchestra. Um, and that was definitely a, a really cool experience. And that was that was when I actually started learning how to improv. Mm-hmm. And, um, and then I realized, man, like classical music really is like the base of the music. Like that's it's really important to know your classical, yeah, and skills and all of that because it really like it's important for like the other genres, you know. Like it's really important to know your scales to be able to improv. So that's so that's when I started, you know, branching off into like the jazz and R and B, uh, and it just year after year I just progressed and just practiced and. Um, now, like I do, like shows all over, all over the U.S. And I, I usually do mostly like the oldies, like Earth, Wind, and Fire, you know, M- Michael Jackson, stuff like that. Okay. Most of my crowd is, you know, older, so. Uh huh. Like myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I play hip hop. I play pretty much everything. So I just, I try to be really versatile, uh, pop. So I try yeah. to reach pretty much anybody. All, Have all you played music. reggae? You know what? I haven't played. I think I played reggae once. I've never recorded myself playing reggae, but that's that's definitely something I want to learn. That would to, be amazing. It really yeah. would. And I want to be the first one to play that. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna try to dig into that. Yeah. So I know we don't have much time with you. So can we get another song? Okay. Yeah, we can do another song. Uh, next song is is a beat. It's Stevie Wonder. Isn't she lovely? Beautiful. Oh, 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 
Wow. <laughs> Sensational. Thank you. Yeah, that was just incredible. You're going to have to read the comments later because I don't have time to read that. All these beautiful, wonderful, saying you're amazing, you're this, you're that. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me this, if you could open up for any artist, who would that be? Oh man, that's tough. Oh, that's a lot, that's a long laundry list right there. Uh Stevie Wonder's definitely top three. Yeah, I thought he might be. <laughs> I actually had a couple friends that like played on the stage. I'm like, oh man, that's man, that, that must have been fun. Because his concerts look so fun. I've never been to a Stevie Wonder concert, but uh, definitely, uh, you know, um, my inspiration is Noah Pointer. I, I'm not sure if anybody knows Noah Pointer. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people it, but he passed away um, actually in the 90s, back when I was born. So, right. yeah, the, the list can go on forever. That Sandy T says, You don't need to open up for anybody, <laughs> I'll be opening up for you. And I agree, actually. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because you don't get many people that play the violin so great as you do. And to music that we all love and grew up on, and you're, you've been so young, it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. So people are asking, my cousin Geneve, actually she said that last song you played was dedicated to her. <laughs> Isn't yes. she lovely? So that was for yes. you, Geneve. And she just bought your album. So can you tell everybody about your album? <laughs> so much thank you so much i really appreciate it actually uh for those of you who don't know i have, I have an album out called flavors I actually released it back in 2018 um no excuse me 2019 and uh i actually just released a single called the rise and also my beautiful dream featuring althea renee is also available on all streaming platforms so that's a smooth jazz track the rise is more of like an upbeat hip-hop track so my, my ultimate goal is to have just a variety of different genres of music, you know, because I don't want to really be in a box. Mm -hmm. And so I want to reach, like I said, I want to reach everybody. So um, this next album, which is going to be called Diary of a Black Violinist, will be uh, coming pretty soon. Uh, it's just going to be more about me and mm -hmm. who I am. And uh, the next album is going to be a gospel album. So this one is actually going to be hip-hop, urban-ish. Next one's going to be a uh, gospel and the next one will be smooth jazz. So it's gonna, it's gonna, every album's going to be different. Out everything. So, you know, if you, when you do release this album, what charts do you think it would be in? This, this, uh... Next album that you're hoping to release soon. I did, I did, you know, I, I found out that they have a, a instrumental, contemporary instrumental uh, genre in the, in the Grammy. So I'm not really sure what Billboard has. Mm -hmm. I know Black Violin actually got nominated this year for contemporary instrumental. So ah. in the future, you know, I can I can I can get nominated for that category, but yeah. I'm, not, I'm not really sure on the jazz charts. I, like I said, I have I have various of different genres. So uh like I said, I have a the My Beautiful Dream is released on all streaming platforms with Idea Renee. That's a smooth jazz track. Mm hmm So hopefully, you know Yeah, I've good. played that many times on my show. I love it. Much, yeah, so it's like I said, it's, it's so much more to come. I'm still, you know, fresh in the industry, so I, I have a long way to go. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I think you're almost there. I really do. So I want to know on your website, it says, I am Stradivari. What exactly is that? So, so that's actually when I started, you know, stepping into the scene, that was my stage name, Stradivari. Ah. I just kept that Dominique Hammonds, but. Uh, it's still it's still a part of me, but Stradivarius is a violin maker. He's a violin maker. I mean, from years and years and years, years, centuries ago, and uh, he made the best violin violins in the world. Right. And so I thought it'd be pretty cool to kind of like base my name off of his name because mm. violins he made are like one of a kind. They're unique, none other. You know, just kind of like sharing those same characteristics. You know, just as as the violin. So I just I, I you know I thought it'd be a cool. <laughs> How many violins do you have? Uh, I have two acoustic and one electric. Actually, oh. no, two acoustic and one electric. I do like the electric ones. They look so beautiful and sleek, don't they? Yeah, they, they, they're really nice looking. The only thing is, like, with the acoustic, I can feel more with the vibrations from the instrument. Uh-huh. With the electric, it's, it's cool, but I, I feel like with the acoustic, I, I can... I guess really, it's more for show. Yeah, I can really, like... 
feel the sound under my neck. You know? Uh huh. Yeah. And do you have a favorite violinist? Uh, like I said, Noah Porn is my favorite violinist. Noah right. Porn. If you haven't checked his music out, check him out. A lot of people like say, "Man, you sound just like Noah Porn," and I'm just like, "What?" You know, happy <laughs> because that's my favorite violinist. Oh, we share, we share a lot of characteristics. Uh huh. You know? Wonderful. So, how often do you practice? Um, I don't practice a lot now, just because I'm always like traveling. But I used to practice like three hours a day. Wow. I probably get like an hour and a half in. Mm -hmm. time, but yeah, it was it was a lot. It was a lot. But really, well, I practice on technique, you know, just getting my technique. Well, it's out. really paid off. <laughs> it really you. has. Are you hoping to release your next album next year? Uh, so, I'm sorry, say it one more time. Are you hoping to release your album next year? Yeah, almost definitely. Uh, pro hopefully before the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanna. I'm shooting for like you know May or. April-ish. So we'll see. It just depends on, you know, how, how fast I can get this yeah. out. So you said you had you, your track with Alfie Renee, who plays the flute, right? Yeah. Have you yeah. collaborated with anybody else? Uh, I've done, I played on stage with Marcus Sanderson. We did a collab show um, here at in Galveston, Texas. We I did the Martini Blue Jazz Festival. So um, I actually opened up for John De Butler. Um, um, Alex Pignon was on that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, various Teresa Grayson. So yeah, I've I've actually and then also I did a concert with Althea Renee. Um, supposed to be doing something with Boney James. Don't really. Maybe. maybe you know, oh my maybe. goodness. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, like I said, like I said, I'm still fresh in the industry, so I'm still like learning. Yeah. Um, has been really working hard. Uh, to take me to that next level. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, it's it def I know in the future there's going to be a lot of collabs for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. And Sandy T has. Um, have you heard of Maria Antoinette who plays the harp? I don't think I have. Well, so she's been a guest on my show, and okay. Sandy T saying that the, the a co collab with you two. How would that feel? A harp and a violin. Oh man, that that's like the two most beautiful instruments. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna hook you up. Yeah, yeah. We I would definitely love to do something with a heart, you know. Oh I mean? my goodness. <laughs> yeah, Maria's my friend, so yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna speak with her for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You're gonna call your song Sapphire. <laughs> oh, hey, we could. That's and it's gonna have a reggae vibe to it. <laughs> it's different. It's different for sure. Yeah. That'll, that'll definitely chart. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, just you know, I would love to connect with her and yeah, you know, I love collabing. So you know, there's no problem at all. That'd be incredible. So we're gonna get one more song from you, and I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna play your song "The Rise" after you have finished, so everybody can hear that because it is absolutely fabulous. And mm -hmm. was that released recently, "The Rise"? It was actually released a couple of weeks ago, and then last Friday I released a music video. And if you haven't checked the music video out, I've uh, seen it. And uh, just type Dominique Hammers to rise and you'll see it there. It's, yeah. I'd say it's the best music video I've ever done. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, the guy, I went, it was actually filmed in LA and Malibu. And, and, and so we had, you know, a few different scenes in California. And mm. It's a really cool video. So if you haven't seen it, check it out, please. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's go for it. What song are you going to play for us next? Uh, so I'm going to switch gears a little bit and I'm going to uh, play, well, it's it's a classic Before I Let Go, but it's not the Frankie Beverly version, it's the Beyonce version. So we're going we're gonna okay. to turn it Okay. Wonderful. <laughs>
my gosh. <laughs> So much. I, I'm speechless. <laughs> I truly am speechless. That was just amazing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah. The, there's too many comments again to go through. But I'd love Laverne James's comment. She's like, boy, you certainly have my attention. <laughs> yeah, I see the comments up there. Thank you so much, everybody, for the love. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Incredible. You know, when your album is released next year, we have to have you back either at the Smooth Jazz Lounge online or hopefully in a venue in London. Have you been to London before? I've never been to London. I would love to come out. And, and yeah, so I think we have to sort that out. We really do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so just tell everybody where they can get your music and how they can be in contact with you. Okay, so you can visit my website, DominiqueHammonds.com. Also, Facebook. I have a Facebook page, Dominique Hammonds. Um, Instagram, at Dominique Hammonds Violin. And uh, you can find a lot of cover videos on, on Facebook and YouTube as well. Um, all of our music is on all streaming platforms. So you can find it pretty much anywhere. And that's, that's pretty much it. Dominique, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all so much. It's been amazing. Absolutely amazing. Our first violinist at the Smooth Jazz Lounge. Oh, oh well, I'm honored. Thank yeah. And we will definitely have you back, like I say, either online or in a venue in London real oh. soon awesome. thank you so much for your time and i'm going to play the rise right now but before i do so i've got to give you one of these <laughs> thank you so this is your brand new release the rise please everybody check out his music get to his website spider has thanked and kindly put your website details and your Inst instagram details in the chat so guys, you can click on the link and check him out. Dominique Hammonds, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We have Tony Exum Jr. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. B, how you doing? Hey, Aqua and Martha Floyd Paris, Ava. Tony Exum Jr., you can unmute yourself. Tony. I don't think he can hear me. Unmute yourself. There we go. (laughs) 